Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Trista with Pride and True by Trista, and I love to do craft projects and product reviews and shop. So today I wanted to show you a little project that I decided to do um, recently for my craft exchange. In craft exchange, we kind of encourage each other to try a new technique or try a new craft that you haven't done before. So this was definitely outside of my comfort zone. I had never done felting before. So if you've never done felting before, you might be interested in this video. I have a little bit of a hack in it, but let me just show you my friend. And with craft exchange, you know, we make a lot of our objects. So this guy was probably one of the worst that I made. Um, made him really quickly at the end because I was like, oh no, I have to have one more for a video. But I'm going to show you how I made little baby Yoda and um, kind of the tips and tricks I have for first time felters. So I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, like I said, this was my first time doing needle felting, but here's my special hack. Instead of using a ton of felt to create a ball, if you use these little styrofoam balls instead to put inside the felt, you can kind of cheat a little bit. So this is my favorite type of felt. I found this on Amazon and it is so much softer and easier to work with than a lot of the stuff that I found in the craft stores. So as you can see, it's like super fluffy and it's amazing. It comes in so many colors on Amazon and I felt like it was fairly reasonably priced considering how little you get from the craft store packages that have, you know, a little strip of this color and a little strip of that color or whatever. Anyway, so I'd highly recommend that. So definitely check into the comments and I'll give you a link for where you can, you can buy that and what color this one is. So as you can see here, you just wrap the felt around the styrofoam ball and you just start kind of stabbing it all over it until you get it completely covered and you don't have to put any glue or anything on this if this is your first time felting. This was my first time felting, so I'm open to any comments that you guys want to add. Go ahead and give me some tips in the comments below. But anyway, this is the way I did it. So you kind of stab it just all over to get the felt to stick, to, to, to get the wool, this is all wool felt, to get the wool felt to stick to the styrofoam ball. So it is a little bit tedious and I'll admit when I started it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is going to take forever to do. And it kind of does. And you definitely have to watch out and make sure that you don't stab yourself because I did a few times and it, it really, it bleeds a lot and it hurts so much. <laughs> anyway, so you can see underneath, um, I was using that little wool buddy, which is like a giant, um, mat pad. So you can stab into it and it'll be okay. Um, when I started to do the ears, it was a little, because I didn't have the styrofoam ball underneath it, I found that the ears would start to stick into the wool buddy. So I just put a piece of paper towel underneath it so I could um, be able to separate it super easy. Otherwise, it was kind of attaching into the wool buddy. So anyway, that's why you see a little scrap of paper towel there. And for these ears, as you can see, I just ripped off a piece and just started kind of forming it with the needle. Um, I kept laying it next to each other to make sure I was doing the right size so that the ears would be even and you just keep stabbing it. There are some needles that have multiple, like little tools that have multiple needles in them. Um, I didn't, the one I got, I just couldn't get it to work correctly. So I think that you could probably cut down on some of your stabbing time if you used one of those. I found that I didn't like it. So I just went back to this. And so these little, the littler balls, which I used for the hands, these don't have any styrofoam in them. It's just a big chunk of wool and you just kind of keep stabbing it and forming it until you get it the way you want. And this was a really easy project to start because um, all the shapes were pretty basic. And so it didn't seem to me that it required a lot of talent. I mean, the hardest um, part was probably the ears, just kind of making sure they're the right shape and adding in this additional color. So I tried to make the inside of his ears a little bit different so it would give it a little bit more dimension. And as you can see, I did that separately to where I got it to the kind of the shape that I wanted and then I finished it up into the ear. And so if you just kind of keep stabbing through the, the layers of the wool, um, it'll just 
kind of glue itself together. And I did try to felt on both sides of it so that it uh, had the same sort of finish to it. So that when you put it on the little baby Yoda, um, it was, you know, you could look at it from the back or the front and kind of look the same. So as you can see, just stub, stub, stub. Um, there are little rubber tools that you can get and put on your fingers so that they, in case you do stab into your finger, <laughs> you, it won't hurt as much, but I'll tell you, it still stabs through the little rubble, rubber thimbles. So in a regular thimble, it was, it, it was too difficult um, to kind of manipulate the, the felt with that. Okay, so for this, this is the bottom of the Yoda and so so that I could get the Yoda to stand up I went ahead and just cut off a little bit of the top and a little bit of the bottom because those are where the neck is going to attach and where it's going to kind of sit on the counter and so if you don't cut it at the right angle um, for the bottom of your Yoda it's okay because you can just add or add more and more layers of the felt to it until it kind of sits up to where you want it so as you can see for the body for his cape I just used a different color of felt. Um, this is actually felt from Michaels. And so I used a couple of different colors of that there. And I just wrapped it around once and then just made sure that I tried to stab it all the way through all on all the sides. So once it was done, then I went ahead and added some more because you're gonna have to build up the neck. You don't really wanna see the separation, um, at least especially for for a little Yoda because he doesn't really have a neck so not that we really see with his cape on the other thing is when the other one goes on top you need to have something for the felt to stick to because you're not using any glue you could use glue actually I, I might even recommend using glue to put them together it might hold up hold attach a little bit better but I didn't use any glue with this so here we're doing the sleeves for his cape. And so I did this with the very same technique that I used for um, his ears. And I just kind of guessed on how long I wanted his sleeves to be, keeping in mind that I wanted to add the little green ball to the end of it, which was gonna be his hands. And so that's gonna kind of peek out underneath the muff of his, of his wrap. So repeated the same thing, had a little piece paper towel and like flipped it over but as you can see here I'm adding the little green ball for his hands and all you do is just kind of stab it together until it sticks and you feel like it's gonna stay um, I did try and use a little bit different colors as I was you know putting it together I think that adds dimension so if you're trying to do a project like this it's good to maybe get similar colors um, this is for the cuff on his sleeve, and that's also going to match the little muff kind of around his neck. So I went ahead and I did that on both of the sleeves. As you can see, I think I'm about to start the next one. Yep, there we go. Now we're doing the other sleeve. Um, just tried to tear off about the same amount and stab, stab, stab both sides of it, and then attach the hand with the little green ball. Um, his little tiny paws or whatever you call it for Yoda. <laughs> um, okay. And then there's the little cuff again. And once you get, what I found best was to, to create all the pieces. And before you put Yoda's head on him, um, put all the other pieces on there. So, okay. So now I'm going to work on the eyes and the eyes are actually two colors so take like a kind of a larger than you would think piece of little scrap of felt and make it down into a little tiny ball um, and then to add just a little bit of dimension to it I added um, light gray so you could barely see it but I do add a little bit of light gray to just give it kind of you know an iris kind of effect for it And if it's too big, you can cut a little bit off and just smooth it out. And if it's not big enough, you just keep adding a little bit more felt until you're happy with it. Now this part was a little bit difficult because the gray to add to it was so tiny. And I guess you could add more if you wanted to. I just wanted it to have a little glimmer of another color in there. I didn't want it to be super pronounced. Um, anyway, so this was probably the most tedious little piece of it because 
you can't really hold it with your fingers until you're trying to attach it so but it goes together really quickly and there's oop, there's in focus there's his eyes okay so now we have his head and I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyes on it now because it's gonna be harder to put it on when you have the whole thing together so you just simply put it on the on the little head where you think that you want it and I know it's it's horrible to think of stabbing Yoda in the eye but that's how you get his eyes to stick to it and you just do it uh, like you were doing the other felt and you just keep kind of um, sewing it with the needle until it all sticks together if you feel like those are too little or you want them to stand out a little bit you could um, add a little bit of glue on those as well okay so for the ears I, I found that the biggest trick to this was to kind of lay it flat against his head and stab 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 to get it attached but then to to really make sure that it doesn't move anywhere I would flip the ear forward and also stab 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 the back of it so that I could keep you know kind of sewing it in there so his ears wouldn't come out and I felt like the more I did that the less seam that you could see now you do run the risk if you keep stabbing 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 that the styrofoam ball might break down a little bit but I didn't find that it was really that noticeable Okay, so now we're ready to start putting the arms on. I liked putting the arms on at this point, kind of from the top down. I made the arms a little bit longer so that I could wrap it around the top um, just to kind of, again, build up a little bit of that neck space for them because you're gonna have to attach all of it together and that takes a little bit extra felt. So I felt like um, that was a good way to kind of get a jump start on that. And so I would just keep checking to make sure you know the arms were in the right spot um, I, a couple of them made I felt like the arms were too far forward and so then I, I moved him back a little bit so it didn't look like his arms were in front of him but they looked more like they were on his sides and so you just keep needling it until you've got it to where it sticks and then just make sure your head is where you want it to be and this was his little muff and so this was a little bit tricky because you know I wrapped wrapped the muff around it and got it to where I liked it and then when I started to kind of stab it together so that I could sort of sew the the head with the body um, I his muff kind of disappears into the crack because there's you know a, a separation between his neck and his body so I found that I had to keep adding a little bit more and a little bit more to his muff area. And so then when I was ready to add the other color to match the cuffs on his sleeves, I, I had it built up enough to where it looked like it was definitely sort of like a turtleneck cape kind of situation going on. So as you can see, I, I did that at the very end. And it's important that you also attach it to the head and to the body. So just keep going like that until you're happy with it I I kept adding a little bit more to the muff because um, I found that it would just sort of disappear into his neckline and that wasn't the look that I wanted so just kept doing it until I was happy with it took a, a couple of layers of it and there you go there's there's my baby Yoda I hope you enjoy let me know if you make one I'd love to see it